Good morning. You've got me this morning. It's um, a bit early, so I don't want to be talking too loud with Abby still in bed. This is what it currently looks like with me. I'm not a very good organiser when it comes to running, even though I've been doing it for a bit now. I'm just not very good at picking what I'm going to wear. I've settled on what I've currently got, which is two, no, three base, uh, three layers so far. Potentially put a fourth jacket on. Um, socks, knee support, shorts, and base shorts. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. And then a hat. And then I'm going to take a bit extra in the bag just in case it's really cold up there. We'll see you now. See you in a bit. So, in the car now. Um, basically, the plan today is uh, I'm off to the break and begins up to Penavan and then up over to uh, Fana Pen, I think. I've never been over to Fana Pen, I've only been up to Penavan. So, the plan is um, eight mile trail run, well, mountain run, going up to there. Um, and then seeing how that goes then basically but I'm going to see how the knee holds up if you see my knee brace in the last little clip um, I've had dodgy knee for the last three weeks, two weeks I hurt her in Newport Marathon um, and since then it's not been great uh, so I'm going to take it easy on that the upbuilds are very steep if you've never been up a pair of van if you've ever been up any sort of mountain range you'll understand that it's, uh, it's quite steep and it's obviously steep on the way back down where I've got hiking poles I'm going to be practicing with today that's meant to take strain off your knees um, and going from there then, I've got an Ultra in four weeks time, I think it's four weeks time. So I need to get some more mountain running in and some walk run training, so more hiking training. So that's pretty much the aim of today. Um, early start, because I just like to be early. I'd rather go up for sunrise. Um, I'm about 10 minutes too late, to be honest, to where I want to leave. But it's not a big big difference really it's um i just wanted to give myself a bit more time to get up there but it should get light a little bit quicker now so fingers crossed get up to pen van the sun should be coming through when i can take my head torch off then but um yes yeah, not a bad little walk up there um i've done it a few times i've never ever done it in nice weather and to be honest i can't see what today's going to be like i haven't got a clue it's um it's black for sex, I, I can't see a thing. So I'm hoping that it's not going to be cloudy up there. You never know up there. It could be really, really uh, clear or it could be really, really uh, cloudy. We'll see. Another cup of tea anyway to start the morning. So see you in a bit. So I'll film a bit before I start actually trying to hike a bit more up this mountain. The way um, you know, anyway, it's, I missed. I want. I got here a little bit too late. I, to be honest, I should have left about half hour earlier. But anyway, we've missed a bit of the sun, sunrise, so you can see it in the distance by there. But just on the start now, just past the car park, I've gone on the easy route today. So this one's just the straight up route rather than all the windy bits behind the stormy arms. Um, and yeah, it's a nice little start. This is it, pretty much. See how we go, and I'll uh, film some more when we're up there now. So we're three quarters away up the first hill, and basically this is the first false peak. Basically, the so you go up and over that, and then you realise that it's down a little bit, and it's back up then. So we're not doing a bad pace. Not amazing, like, but otherwise oh, I haven't even seen my hair, so I have flipped the screen back, so I don't even know if it looks awful. But you can see most of the peak downs by here. Pretty good to be honest, to be fair. So that's pretty much where I am. You can still see the car park a little down there. Maybe not on the camera. But we're there. I'd uh, quickly film now. Lovely view behind. You see, we just over the sun there. Lovely. So, made it in time for what I wanted, which was literally the sunrise. It's not windy at all, about, to be fair. It's quite warm. Yeah, the sun's coming up now, so I might even take a layer off. I've got a three on, so it's not too bad. The walk up is quite hard. It's, uh, it's obviously quite hilly, but uh, not doing too bad, so said. 
good view. You think we're only a mile and a half in, so we're nearly at the peak to be fair. It's uh, it's not far around from you. So yeah, see you up there. So in the background you can probably see it. That's Benavan anyway, that's the peak. So I just got my two now. I've got my film in the stone now. And then uh, look at the views you got over here. Play. It's a lovely morning today for it. You can see a lot of people film it. I think they're time lapse in the sun coming up. So lovely views. Let's go and have a quick look. You know, I think it's right to the stone, but I'm gonna have a look now. My watch has got the navigation, but I haven't got a clue where I'm going. The other option then is a drop down here. So it leads down here, and then a big drop down. The wind has picked up a little bit now. Oh yeah, it must be this way. If you see, there's a track leading down here and across. So we will see, I'll take you wherever I go anyway. But there's the stone, it's quite busy up here this morning. Huh? Just asked um, my family to take a photo of me now, so I did record that. Um, but yeah, so like I said, we'll just walk back to the stone, get another photo for Instagram. Gotta do it when you're don't know. Yeah, lovely day. <laughs> so, where I said about just now was wrong. Um, the one I've shown you weren't the right route. I don't know where that ends up, so I didn't go down. But this one by here, I'm struggling to run a bit by here, it's too steep. But where we just come from up there. That's Penavan. So we're walking down pretty much. I was the right direction, on the right hand side of the sign, but I was in the wrong place. So it's further back to where we were. I walked up to the sign and I thought it would carry on straight and right, but it wouldn't. So this way is Penna Pass. I think it's this mountain by here. That one over there, just by the where you can see the sunrise. So walking down there, but this is soup. I don't think camera will pick up very well how steep stuff actually is. But this is super steep, so walking back up this will be fun. But um, yeah, we're pretty much two and a half miles in. It's very, very rocky terrain though up here, so it's just hard on your feet to walk on. So, not too bad, it's just a lot of luck in where you go in, because you'll end up one fall and you'll end up sitting on your ass, and then you'll end up tumbling. It's not very good luck. Should have brought my sunglasses today, I didn't think it'd be so sunny. But, um, yeah, look, like I said, loads of people at Penavan, no one walking this route though. But look at this, lovely views. It really doesn't give it credit how steep these mountains actually are. 
But um, if you fall down there, I wouldn't like to see your chances. I can see a lot of people at the top of that mountain though, so I'm assuming I'm going the right way. But it looks like one hell of a incline to get up to the top of it. Very fun. The walking down, I think, is just as hard as the walking up because even though it's steep walking up, you've got a lot of grip. When you're walking down, I just feel like you're gonna fall all the time. But, uh, and to be honest, the old cobble road is not any easier than walking on the actual wet grass because you've just got no sort of grip under your feet. Sticks aren't doing a lot because they're getting caught in the stones. So they're quite good for the grassy bits, but the actual stony bits, they're not very good. Oh, I've just not learned how to use them properly yet. It's my first time trying to use them, so. I wish I got up, a, well, I was up really early. I was quarter to four this morning, I was up. I've had a bit of a bad chest, um, runny nose, so it's, sleeping in the night is hard because you get a really dry throat. And, um, but uh, no, so, not COVID anyway, I took a test to check that. Made sure before I went to park run that I was sound. I haven't seen anyone since really, so it's not, uh, it's definitely not COVID, but yeah, nothing like the COVID. But oh, I can see the incline now actually. There's the sun was Imperium where I could see, but I could see the light, and it is literally, it is straight up the mountain. <laughs> I'll show you when we get to the bottom of it now, but I don't think again it'll give her any sort of scale of how big this actually is. But never mind, my own fault, I chose to get up this time in the morning and come here. So I knew I was getting myself in for. Right, so I finally found um, Fanny Big. Here, but there was a guy I was just chatting to him from Southampton come down, camped out, and uh, he's just going across the three peaks of here. Which I'm not going to the third, this was his second, and he's finishing with Penavan, then going home. So, I'll be come down from Southampton like camp overnight. He said he just looked at the weather, seemed as nice, and thought he'd never done it. So, but just coming up by here now, I don't know if you can see me with the sun in the background, but um. <laughs> So here we are in one sec, let me turn you around. So this is Fanny Big. I've never been up here before, this is nuts. This is basically the edge of this. So, and again, this just does not give the scale of how steep this actually is. We were watching the Dragon's Back documentary the other day. And this mountain looks exactly like it from the from the from the peak of it where they run across. But I know this is nowhere near as steep as what the Dragon's Backwood is. Crazy. So, photos on the rock down. I think I'm gonna walk down there and then across because I just come from this way. It's very steep going down, so I'm, I'm undecided. I'm gonna go and have a look at that edge now, see how steep it is, and then decide then what I wanna do because I don't really wanna go on my ass today if I'm being honest. So, but yeah, there's no one up here, so if anyone's coming to Penavan, come over here, you'll get much better photos. All right, you don't get a sign. You should get a cool cliff edge. So. But I just spoke to Ab, so she's awake anyway, so looking at about an hour, hour and ten, walk back. I've given up on the run in to be honest. It's too uh it's too rocky. I managed to run quite a bit to the flat uh on the in-between bit of Hugh and Penavan. Oh, big jump. Um so let's have a look at this. But there's not a bit of wind today, it's literally perfect conditions for a walk. Said so I've never like I said, I just said to Ab on the phone now. I've never been up here when you can see. So it's nice to actually get the views in. To be fair, for somewhere that's so close to home, it's uh, it's great to have on your door, really. <laughs> Not needing to drive up where somewhere like Snowden or something like that. 
But uh, where's the walk now? So the walk is by here. So you can see these two guys walking up here. But yeah, so that goes onto the bottom rope there and then leads back up. I'm not sure if it does. Bugger it. We'll risk it and just hope I don't fall because I don't really want to get lost either. I'd rather fall and get lost. But here we are. So just say I don't care. I did fall coming down that hill. I went the wrong way, even though I thought I was going the right way. And I did slip. It wasn't a bad fall, but it's the pride that hurts. Never mind. That second climb up is so much harder than the first. The first climb up Penn Van is long, I don't get me wrong. But, my God, it's a total different terrain. That's just rock. So it's more like uh, trying to scale the side of a, like a proper cliff that's like broke away. Much less road, but the road that is there is just super steep. So, back to Penn Van now. So, the sign's behind me, but I'm gonna head home because I need to get to work in the house. So it's all downhill from here, to be fair now. There's the option of going up to the other mountain on the way back, which is by there. But I'm gonna avoid that. I think I've walked up enough hills now. So it's uh, it's a nice temperature today, though there's, there's hardly any wind up here. You might hear a bit on the camera just because it might be a bit muffled, but um, but the actual day today is there's nothing really. There's hardly any wind. I cut, I'm down now to two layers. I uh, I had to take her off on the hill coming up. I was way too warm. But um, to be honest, now there's not a lot more to see now. I might film a little bit on the way down just to show you the sort of train going down. But the sun, to be fair, now has gone in. It's a little bit more overcast, as you can see there. The sun is there somewhere in the clouds. You can just see the river over there. But that's where I just come from now with that river bit. But it's honestly oh, it's really fun. To get up and down there, you can just about see the path and just that's where I walked on. So if you used to look to the sort of the middle of the screen where we are now, the path is down there. So that's an absolutely ridiculous climb that is. Fair play. But it's, it makes uh, it makes the normal walk of pen van seem easy. So well worth a go though if you want something a bit more challenging. There weren't many people over there, so I see why not. But yeah, I might have another little chat when I get up to the car. Um, but other than that, I will just film a little bit more than we do. Bye. So that's pretty much it. I'm back in the car now. I filmed a little bit on the way back down, but there's, to be honest, I run quite a bit of it down just because I wanted to get back to the car as soon as I could. Um, eight and a half miles total. It just ticked over eight and a half miles when uh, I got back into the car. So, coffee for me. Where are they? Welsh cakes to share later. Finn's got some Welsh cakes from the coffee van by you, so it's not too bad. So. Uh, onward bound now and then uh, yeah good as new so have a good one guys